Hello book dragons, it's Alyssa and you're watching Pages in Ink. Today I am doing the festive Christmas book tag. I wasn't tagged in it, but I wanted to do it anyway. It was originally created by Girl Reading and I will post a link to her video in the description box below. There's eight questions here, so let's get started. So the first one is a fictional family you would like to spend Christmas dinner with. Obviously, I feel like everyone's first choice would be the Weasleys. That's the first one that popped into my head. It's the one that's most like my crazy family. But when I really thought about it, I like watching train wrecks happen. So the cynical side of me won out and I chose the Bennett family from Pride and Prejudice. I think it would be the biggest hot mess ever, especially if Mr. Collins came to Christmas dinner. I feel like I would just be sitting in the corner like laughing the whole time eating my roast pheasant and having a good old time at this hot mess family because they're a disaster. And I think that it would be fun to have Elizabeth Bennett in my corner laughing with me over how ridiculous and over the top her family is. So the second question is a bookish item that you would like to receive as a gift. Obviously books are my number one choice. I think I have about 25 on my Christmas list for this year that I've given to everyone and gift cards to bookstores are good too. I also really like bookish candles, so candles that are based off of books or characters. I think the number one gift that you can never go wrong with is a warm fuzzy blanket. There's nothing better than cuddling under a blanket and diving into a good book. The next question is a fictional character that you think would make the perfect Christmas elf. Samwise Gamgee from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I feel like not only would he help Santa eat the cookies and drink the milk, who better to have in your corner when you're working on a mission and you need to complete it? Samwise Gamgee would be the best elf. I love him. He's my favorite character in the series and I just would love to see him team up with Santa instead of Frodo. So the fourth one is to match a book to its perfect Christmas song and for that I went with another classic fantasy series. I went with The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe from the Chronicles of Narnia written by C.S. Lewis. And I think the perfect song to go with The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is Let It Snow because it's winter all year long. So the fifth one's a little bit longer. And that is Bah Humbug, a book or fictional character that you've been disappointed in and thinks deserves a spot on the naughty list. My answer for this one is probably when I'm gonna get some people leaving my channel and hitting dislike. And that would be Lila Bard from A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. She annoyed me for most of this book. Toward the end of it, yes, I started to be okay with her. For me, her character wasn't well-rounded enough to understand why she did what she did in this book, and that really annoyed me. And she was a brat. I don't like bratty characters, and they tried to give her enough of a backstory so that you kind of sided with her, but she was a brat, and I didn't like it. Number six is a book or fictional character that you think deserves more love and appreciation and should be put on the nice list. I chose Ray Odin from Elantris written by Brandon Sanderson. I think Elantris as a whole needs more love and appreciation. I don't see a lot of people talking about this book. They talk about his other books, but not this one. I think this one for a debut novel is absolutely incredible. Ray Odin is my favorite character in this in this story and I root for him. Part of me wants it to just be his point of view because I love this character so much and I don't hear anyone talking about him and I absolutely adore Ray Odin. Number seven is Red, Gold, and Green, a book cover that has a wonderfully Christmassy feel to it. So I chose a Christmas book and I went with The Girl Who Saved Christmas by Matt Haig. Not only is Christmas in the title and it's red, it's a Christmas book. There's reindeer on it, there's Santa, there's glitter, and I just feel like this is a good Christmas cover. Number eight is a book or series that you love so much you want everyone to find under the Christmas tree so they can read it and love it too. And for that, I did not go with the Harry Potter series, which most people would expect. I actually went with this book, which I've read so many times, it has a duct taped cover in order for me to still read it. 
I fell in love with this story when I was a kid and I've loved it ever since. And I will show you the other copy that I have of it. And that is Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. I absolutely love this book. I was obsessed with dinosaurs as a kid. I watched Jurassic Park younger than I should have and was obsessed with the movie. I read this as an older kid, but I was still a kid and I just love this book so much. It is one of my absolute top favorite books of all time. That's it for the festive Christmas book tag. I had a lot of fun doing it. I'm not gonna tag anyone because if you wanna do it, do it. What's to stop you? If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you like watching me gush about books and you like my sloth friends here, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and then don't forget to hit that notification bell. And until next time, you guys have a wonderful day. I think that went well. I only had to start over like 70 times, but that went well. Pleasant time, people, pleasant time. <laughs> That's dumb. Gosh, why can't I talk?